Hi guys, so today I thought we would make apple butter. Um, the other day I went to our farmer's market and of course they have tons of apples right now. And so I picked up a couple varieties. I picked up Jonathan and Wine Sap. Both make really good um, apple butter when you mix them together. So to start with, um, I need four pounds of apples. It looks like it's gonna come out to about, uh, about 14 to 15 regular size apples. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna dice them up. Luckily we have enough. Also, um, you can take the skins off if you want to. I like the skin on it. It gives it extra flavor, more fiber, um, and it makes it a better color too. So, that's roughly about four pounds right there. Until the four pounds, we're gonna put in two cups of water. And really all the water is good for is to get it started to start cooking. So from there, we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it on the stove and we're gonna let it simmer until they're all soft and we can puree them. And then we'll do the next step. So I will talk to you all in a minute. Hey guys, okay, so that took a little bit more than a minute, but it was about, it was about 45 minutes for it to get, um, it's really kind of mushy right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into um, our blender food processor and uh, we're gonna pulse it into it's like a puree. Maybe I'll get a label for this. Also, this is gonna be hot, so you don't wanna put your thing over there and it'll just make a big old mess. That's what it's going to look like. It's going to look, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a pureed apple. Okay, after you've pureed all of your apples, we are going to put it all back in the same pot and we're gonna put one and three quarters cup of sugar. <clears throat> Two tablespoons of cinnamon. And one teaspoon of cardamom. This is going to give it a nice earthy flavor. I'm going to mix that all in. In the next step, we're going to put it back on the oven, or back on the stove, and we're going to bring it back to a boil, and we're going to simmer it until it's thick. Hey guys, okay, so I put this back on, and I let it bring it back to another boil, and for some reason, it wasn't coming to the consistency that I was wanting. I wanted it to be creamy and buttery. I mean, it's apple butter, right? So, I don't know if my food processor, if the blades were too dull, or if I just didn't do it long enough, but I ended up just transferring it to a, um, a blender, a high-speed blender, and I was able to get it to that consistency. So, if you do yours, you can either do it in the high-speed blender to get it the consistency you want, or you can try it in a food processor and if it doesn't work for you, to redo it and the other thing. Second thing I noticed is when I was um, bringing it back to a boil, this stuff is like lava. So be careful. I put the lid on it and it was just like bubbling. But 
It did get to the consistency that I wanted, so I'm happy with that. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Oops, I almost spilled it on the counter. Anyway, it's really nice consistency. So, while that was going, um, I did sterilize uh, my jars. I did half pint jars. The recipe says it'll do five to six. Um, I did seven jars um, just to make sure that I had enough. Because, gosh, I would not, I would not have enough jars. Anyway, so you'll fill them up. I got my wide mouth funnel, and then you'll fill them up to a quarter, um, up to up to a quarter of the top. Okay, before I put the tops on, um, I like to take a, a clean cloth with some water on it and just go around the edges. Just to make sure that we get a nice seal. Also, I'm glad I did seven. I still have some a little bit left over that I can put in the refrigerator. Also, if you don't want to go through this whole process of canning it, this stuff freezes really well. You can just put it in canning jars and put it in your freezer and then just pull it out when you want it. Um, that works just as well. I've done that before. Okay, we're gonna put these in boiling water for 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna clean up here and once those are done, I'll bring you back. Okay guys, so it's been 15 minutes plus five. Um, I forgot to say that part. So you put them in the hot water, the boiling water for 15 minutes, and then after 15 minutes, you turn it off for five minutes. So to recap, I got a bunch on this one. First of all, on the, while I was filling these, if there was some background noise, um, that was the television and I apologize. Um, I was watching TV while this was getting ready and boiling and stuff. The news was off. Anyway, so if you hear background noise, again, I apologize. So on this one, I ended up with actually eight of these. Um, I have seven that I can, and then I have a whole full one plus a little bit. Um, so I don't know where they came up with five to six half pint jars because I got eight. And I was literally measuring and I weighed out everything. Um, so we used four pounds of apples. Um, and I, to that, I put two cups of water, uh, let that all uh, boil and break down and soften. And then I put it into a uh, food processor to cream it up. Um, to be honest with you, I would use a high-speed blender. That worked so much better. Um, that's what I ended up doing at the very end because I thought once I put it back on um, and brought it into another boil, it would thicken and become creamier. And um, it didn't, uh, it would have been fine, but it wasn't the consistency that I wanted. So I went ahead and I did put it in the high-speed blender and I blended it up, put it back into the pot brought it to another boil, and the consistency was so much better. So I would skip the food processor and do directly to the high-speed blender. Um, after that was all done, um, I put one and three quarters cup sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of cardamom. And I brought it all back to a boil, and I put it in the jars, and then I put it into the hot water bath and brought it to a uh, for another 15 minutes. And so we have it, they're all done. Um, I think they're gonna seal, I'm not sure. Um, I've not heard a little ping yet, but I just barely did it. So I'm gonna let them sit on here and cool for probably 24 hours. Um, they're pretty warm, even this one is pretty warm. Um, but this one I'm gonna put in the refrigerator and use it. Oh, and again, if you don't wanna go through this whole process, you can definitely freeze these and you can freeze them in the little glass jars they were just fine, I've done it before. Um, and you just pull it out when you want to use them. Um, you just don't have to store them in your, in your pantry. 
Um, so that's it. Apple butter for, for the next uh, year at least. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you in the next project.